support about public education? Well, thank you very much. Um, private schools, everybody here has a choice to send their kids to private schools. The question is whether or not public tax dollars subsidize private prep schools and religious schools. The Constitution says no. Fortunately, Senate Bill 193 went down. Uh, that bill would have cost taxpayers in our local communities $100 million over 10 years, driving up their property taxes. That's not my conclusion. That's the Republican Chair of House Finance. And that's why he opposed it on the floor. And that's why it went down. So if you're talking about the quality of public education, one thing you don't do is do so-called school vouchers to divert public tax dollars to private prep schools and religious schools. A thing you do do is what Representative Kerr noted, which is as one of the advocates of full-day kindergarten, I was disappointed to see it directly connected to Keno. Kindergartners should not be tied to Keno. No other grade is treated that way. We're not treating kindergartners the same. It's time to fully fund kindergarten. It's time to be not one of the last four, five states that don't do anything for pre-K. We've got to think about education from cradle to career. And I agree with Ms. Cox. Ms. Cox says not everybody wants to go to college. That's true. Uh, we have lots of job openings right now. There's over 10,000 job openings every month in New Hampshire. Businesses need workers right now. So if you're graduating high school and you don't want to go to college, you ought to be able to get into the skills and get into the trade and get skilled up and get in those jobs. We had a bill, Senate Bill 567. Uh, it was voted down, unfortunately, by my Republican friends in the Senate. We picked up one Republican vote. It would have done exactly that. We need to pass bills like that so we skill up our workers, help with workforce development, and attract and retain the next generation of workers. That's what we need to do. We need to support education and job skills from cradle to career, and in some cases, a second and third career. There's a lot of people that have been left out and left behind in this economy, and we need to help them and their families too. Thank you. Let's come back to Mr. Carson.